Hey guys, what's up? Temperance here, and it has been a little bit since I made uh, one of these videos. I just kind of uploaded a couple gameplay videos from my stream. Uh, I haven't been too active on YouTube, just been focusing on Twitch and working all that. But I did want to make a Halo video now that the HCS Season 2 uh, is over and the finals just happened, and it was pretty sick. I want to talk about uh, what's happened with that, and if anybody hasn't heard you know, who won it and who plays what, I'm going to share that with you guys. And also going to talk a little bit about the new playlist called Action Sack that was in previous Halos and is now in the Master Chief Collection. And um, schools uh, that are going to be present in Halo 5 also want to talk about that, along with this Cologne Germany tournament that's going to be happening August 7th uh, for Halo 5 will be the first Halo 5 Guardians tournament. So, first thing I want to talk about is the Halo Championship Series Season 2 Finals, uh, the results that happened, if anybody that wasn't watching, because there's probably a couple of you guys that uh, didn't. Um, the placings are as follows, 7th uh, and 8th place, since we all know Constellation doesn't exist anymore at tournaments, is Excellence and Team Liquid. On Excellence we have Kobe, L-Town, Frosty, and Unlegit, and then on Team Liquid we have Ninja, Spartan, Shooter, Ares, and they both take home $3,000. Uh, next is the 5th and 6th place, we have Optic Halo and Winter Fox, they both take home $6,000. And on Optic Halo we have Flame Sword, Ace, Assault, and Maniac. And then on Winter Fox we have Randa, Ryan Noob, Naded, and Arcanum. 4th uh, place is Cloud9, they get uh, $12,000, that's I Got Your Pistola, Victory X, Feared Stuff, and Hysteria. 3rd place is Denial Esports, they take home $15,000, and that's Heinz, APG, Chig, and Mikwin. 2nd place goes to Counterlogic Gaming, they 3 2'd. Uh, Evil Geniuses in the first series that they played, but because they lost to Evil Geniuses in the first time that they played them in the winner's bracket, they um, had to do another best of five series if they won that, and they got 3 out in the second series. They just ran out of juice, or Evil Geniuses just, you know, changed up their strats or whatever. Um, but it's Ogre 2, Royal 2, Cloud and Snakebite, and Coach is Ogre 1. I mean, the Coach is not Ogre 1, Ogre 1's on Australia, the Coach is Royal 1. Um, and it's Royal 1's last <coughs> tournament, and they take home $30,000. Um, in the first place, obviously, Ghost of Evil Geniuses, they've won, this is, I think this is their fourth or fifth event in a row they've won, um, and then this is their second championship in Halo 2 Anniversary that they've won, so back-to-back -back champion wins for them, they're an amazing team, they take home $75,000, and if Coach Tawi is their coach, and uh, the players are Lethal, Roy, Lunchbox, and Snipedown, so a big congrats to all the teams that competed at HDS Season 2 Finals, and a uh, big shout-out to Sims. Uh, Walshy, Golden Boy, Bravo, and uh, any other commentators that were there, they did an amazing job, and uh, yeah, it was an amazing tournament to watch, and I'm excited to watch Halo 5, even though there's uh, Spartan abilities and all that, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, so, biggest tournament that we've had in a while for Halo, 150k in uh, cash prizes uh, for this tournament, so it's going to be interesting to see how much, if they're going to raise the bar to 200k in the finals for Halo 5, or for any tournaments that are coming in Halo. Um, moving on to other Halo news, Action Sack uh, recently got added to the Halo Master Chief Collection. If you don't know what Action Sack is, it is just goofy, silly, random game types that are uh, meant to just be fun. And um, it was, I think it first came out in Halo 3, and then they had it in Halo Reach and Halo 4. I think they had it in Halo Reach, I'm not too sure. Um, but Team Action Sack this time around features four of the five games in Halo Master Chief Collection. Uh, it's going to be Halo 2 Classic, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, and Halo 4, and unfortunately Halo CE will not be in, uh, included in that. Uh, so, silly game types, uh, for example, we've got like Binary Slayer, which is Binary Rifles in Halo 4, Shoddy Snipers. Um, there's also Team Swords, there's uh, a game type called Gold Rush, where you spawn with just a Magnum in Halo 2 Classic, um, and then you have like shotguns on the map somewhere, and you know, it's just Slayer, so it's all out, all out madness. Um, I think, I'm thinking of another game type here, they have, um, I think they have like splazers, uh, like rocket and lasers and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. Um, so other matchmaking changes, uh, for Team Slayer, they removed SMG Start, Standoff, and Halo 3, um, it's down off the map, and they removed SMG Start for Stone Town and Halo 2 Anniversary, they reduced appearance of AR Start on the pit in Halo 3, uh, they reduced the appearance of SMG Start on Lockdown and Sanctuary, on uh, Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 2. Uh, for Team Halo 2 Anniversary playlists, they reduced appearance of SMG Start Team Slayer on Shrine. Uh, they slightly increased appearance of One Flag Capture the Flag BR on Zenith, and then they reduced the appearance of Relic, which had been heavily weighted since its release. Um, and then Team SWAT, they reduced appearance of Adrift SWAT in Halo 4. Big Team Battle, they added Death Island with the following game types, which is Team Slayer, Capture the Flag, and Team Snipers. Uh, obviously, that's going to be a Forge map. And then they reduced the appearance of Relic, which had been heavily weighted since its release. 
Um, so yeah, those are going to be the changes for matchmaking this month. Uh, there are a total of 45 maps available in the playlist. Uh, Midship, Tombstone, Backwash, Warlord, Ghost Town, Harvest, and much more in the Action Sack playlist. Um, so yeah, go play it. It's really fun. I'm having a blast playing it. And yeah. Uh, last thing to talk about with Halo is uh, Skulls are actually going to be present in Halo 5 Guardians. Um, a lot of people were disappointed when there were no Skulls in uh, Halo 4 campaign, but now that uh, that's over, they're going to be implementing Halo 5 Skulls into the campaign uh, so people can find them and all that stuff, make YouTube videos. Um, and I think this was Josh Holmes that said that any achievements, collectibles, or skulls unlocked during a co-op session are granted to all the players present at the time. So when he said collectibles or skulls, that was kind of you know a red flag that he actually meant that there's going to be skulls in the game. Um, so this is pretty cool news. Uh, anything you know new that you can put into the campaign, any you know fun stuff to find out, it's always fun. Like the um, grunt on the last level of Halo Three. Um, thinking of other ones. Um, also on Halo Three on the last level. There is like a bungee employee with his boxers and nothing else on, jumping up and down on like this corner. And something else on like the first map uh, on the campaign, there's these like, there's these monkeys, a family of monkeys you can find. So just cool stuff like that uh, makes the campaign funner and uh, makes it, you know, more replayable. You know, if you beat the campaign, you can go back and get all the schools and stuff. So uh, that's about it. Uh, oh no no that's not that I was gonna talk about the clone Germany I was trying I couldn't find any um, links or anything they showed it on the stream on twitch.tv slash halo when the tournament was actually going on um, you could actually go back and look at it if you wanted they showed it like five or six times but basically what's happening is there's gonna be a Halo 5 Guardians tournament um, it's an invitational it's gonna be three European teams and one North American team uh, the one North American team is actually gonna be Optic Halo and that's gonna be uh, probably the lineup the Flame Sword, Ace uh, Assault and uh, Mania lineup, I think. Uh, maybe it'll change it around since they didn't get that good of a placing um, at the season two finals, and he's gonna you know test out his new team with this invitational tournament. Uh, we'll see, but that's gonna be the American team. The three European teams, I do not know who they are. It's probably gonna be SK Gaming and two other two other teams. The Bucks are probably going. Um, Reaction's probably going, but if I get any news regarding that, it's probably going to come up here as we get closer to the tournament. The tournament's uh, actually going to be happening next week on the Saturday, so they're going to have to hurry up here to get the information out. Um, anything else? It's going to be at Gamescom. They're going to be announcing a lot of stuff. Phil Spencer's going to be there. Major Nelson's going to be there. They're going to be announcing some stuff for Xbox and all that. Probably talking about Windows 10 and everything. Um... But yeah, they're going to be streaming it on twitch.tv slash Halo um, on August 7th, so be sure to check that out. And that is going to be it for all this news and information I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, a couple of these clips that I'm putting on my YouTube channel from my streams. I'll try to uh, get some more clips to put on my channel. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Have a good one, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.